The night sky has so many stories um, tied to it. A central Okanagan park has received a rare dark sky site designation. The Royal Astronomical Society of Canada has named John's Family Nature Conservancy Regional Park as only the third nocturnal preserve in Canada. The designation is actually initiated by an application by the park, so they learned about our program and they made an application and then we work with them to make sure that any lighting that they have within the, the park has been retrofitted and that it's only had five or six lights so it was easy for them to do. We want to make sure those lights are uh, aimed downward, uh, they're a warmer color rather than a sort of bright white or blue light, it's a dimmer almost an amber type light that they would be using. And the lights are generally off and that with also measuring the sky brightness, monitoring that and having public outreach programs about the local ecology, especially the nocturnal ecology, are all parts of the things they have to demonstrate that they do or will do. Here the skies, um, because of the presence of Kelowna and the surrounding communities, is probably about equivalent to if you have a, a first quarter moon in the sky or a third quarter moon in, in the sky, about that level of brightness. Uh, we don't want it much brighter than that, but at that level, you could, the, the nocturnal environment, the, the plants, the animals, can still really sense that you have a dark night and a, and a bright daytime. And uh, they need that uh, for their, you know, for normal behaviors, their health, and the like. This is my first time up in this park, um, having grown up in the Okanagan and watching this fire burn through here 20 years ago on the other side of the lake. It's amazing to see what it's become now, and so this is a really special event to showcase the resiliency of the natural environment that we live in here in our region. Invited guests were taken on a late evening hike to showcase the habitat and stunning views. In Kelowna, Cindy White, Castanet.